Driving on the Snake River Bridge is something Stephen Aerosmith does all the time, without any problems. Today was different, though. A car came out of nowhere. He, said, he told the officers he was doing about 70. What happened next would put him on the edge of life and death. That car hit the back of his Jeep, which was parked on the side of the interstate. It shot into the cement barrier, shot back into me, hitting me, throwing me over the bridge into the Snake River. He plunged 50 feet before hitting the water. Well, the only thing I could think of was at that time, I was like, okay, I need to get out of here. So he swam. But I ended up floating past this first island, and I came about even with this house right over here. And swam. My drive and desire was an hour away at that point, sitting at home with my stepmom, and that was my seven-month-old son. Until he reached a small island. So I just yelled for help. Hey, help me. I've got a broken leg. A broken leg. But it's broke right about here. That he didn't even notice. I think that adrenaline kicked in, and that's pure, purely what it was. You know, once I got into a shallow spot, and I looked down at my leg, and I'm like, well, the top part of my leg's moving, but the second, the lower part, lower half, is just sitting there kind of like. His feet were in the water for the next hour as he waited for rescue teams to reach him. The officer said when he came up to me and gave me the wool blanket, I, my, my lips were blue and my face was blue. From his hospital bed, he plays those moments on the bridge in his head over and over. I am extremely lucky right now, you know, because I could have easily got pinned against that cement. It could have easily killed me.